Baby Moose approaches Soldier in Forest. Then he realizes he's trying to tell him something. The Estonian military has the same responsibilities as any other military, namely to make sure that their country and its residents are kept safe. However, they don't only care about the citizens who live there. The military is responsible for the safety of the entire country. This means everyone and everything in it. Countries aren't only made up of people, but also natural resources, including the animals. This is a lesson that one Estonian soldier recently learned. Eric Jairi Pricko and some other Estonian soldiers had a rather unexpected encounter while they were involved with military exercises around Lake Vortsjarv. Lake Vortsjarv is located in the southern part of Estonia. During their exercises in the forest, Pricko needed to go to the bathroom. He wandered off to answer the call of nature when he came across something unexpected. It seemed that nature was calling him that day instead. As Pricko wandered off into the woods, became aware of some cries from a nearby creature. It was clear that the animal was in distress. The cries sounded like a cat or a baby, but then a creature emerged from the woods. At first, he thought it was a dog. I heard some funny voices that reminded me a cat or a small baby, Pricko said. I noticed some kind of a cute animal walking towards me. At first, he reminded me of a dog, but pretty quickly I realized it was a small baby moose trying to tell me something. As the creature drew closer, he realized that it wasn't a dog at all. As the tiny figure emerged from the woods, it all became clear. Pretty quickly I realized it was a small baby moose trying to tell me something, Pricko recalled. The calf was alone. Pricko didn't want to scare or upset the animal, so slowly sat down. He hoped that doing so would not only prevent the calf from getting scared, but also that it would go back to its mother. The baby moose came out of the bushes and then stopped. It stood there for a moment, sizing him up. After a few moments, it decided that Pricko didn't appear to be a threat and approached him. It came close and started to nuzzle him, seemingly trying to drink from him. Pricko finally understood what was happening. Poor animal was hungry. Unfortunately, Pricko had no way of feeding the animal. After a brief search proved the mother wasn't there, Pricko called a local vet for advice and help. It is a natural instinct for us to want to care for a baby regardless of what species they are. This is because they are innocent and vulnerable and this automatically kicks out maternal or paternal instincts into high gear. When he spoke to the vet, Pricko was told that he should take the calf back to where he found it and to make sure that the area is as undisturbed as possible in case the mother return. However, in the meantime, the vet promised to send help. It wasn't long before the vet sent someone out with a bottle of milk to feed the baby moose. However, they knew that the best thing to do would be to leave the calf. If they left the calf, the mother might return. However, would the gamble pay off? Pricko stayed close to the area that night. In the middle of the night, the group heard a moose call. The next morning, they went back to check the area where they had left the baby and found it was gone. We noticed very fresh, big moose footprints that indicated that the small calf had been rescued by his mother, Prico explained. Prico doesn't consider this unnecessary. As far as he is concerned, he is responsible for all the creatures in his country. I wanted the calf's mother to find him, and I was very satisfied when we found out that they really found each other. <laughs> 